In assist deployment, there's a lot of metadata. Metadata about configuration, such as server definitions, user groups and roles. And metadata about content, like data, reports and jobs, etc. Administrators often need to report on that metadata. They want to know what reports have been developed, where they are stored, or which users or members of which groups. In this video, I will show you how in SAS 9.4 reporting on metadata is easier than ever. I'm Jerry Nelson with SAS, and this is the Technical Insights and Expertise series. In previous versions of SAS, we used programming interfaces to metadata, such as the metadata data step functions or proc metadata, to develop SAS programs to create these reports. The SAS 9.4 Languages Interfaces to Metadata provides documentation on those two interfaces. In SAS 9.4, the SAS Intelligence Platform Batch Tools provide a way to report on metadata content from a command line interface. No SAS code is required. The SAS List Objects tool will create a list of metadata objects matching a search criteria, and that's documented in the System Administration Guide. In SAS 9.4 M1, SAS Environment Manager added the Environment Manager Service Architecture Framework. The framework is installed with 9.4, but requires some post-installation configuration. You can check the Quick Start Guide for these steps. Service Architecture includes the Report Center. The Report Center is a collection of reports that are produced from data in the SAS Environment Manager data mart. These reports are created to provide a view of the performance and the status of your SAS environment and its resources. In addition to reports on the status and performance of the environment, SAS Environment Manager Report Center includes reports that are generated from SAS metadata. In this video, I will look at satisfying two of the most commonly requested metadata reports. Firstly, a report of all users and their group and role membership and secondly, a list of all user-developed content. I will log on to SAS Environment Manager as the unrestricted user, SAS ADM at SAS PW. On the menu, I'm going to select Analyze and Report Center. Then I'll expand Products, SAS Environment Manager. Under this folder is where the reports are. I'll select Dynamic Reports and Metadata Inventory. And the first report I'm going to run is the Identity Report. Click on it. Then there's some parameters that we can change, but for our purposes, in this first execution of the report, we'll just click Run to run the report. And we see a report of all the groups and roles in the metadata and the users and groups that are members of those groups and roles. Another related report is uh, Group Roles and Users. We can click on that and click Run. And when that report executes, I get a similar report that's formatted slightly differently with the groups, the group type, and the membership. Next, we'll run the Metadata Content Report. So select it. And then there's an option here to either organize the report by folder or by metadata type. In the first run, we'll select metadata type and click run. And we get a list of metadata content organized by the type of metadata, so cubes, information maps, reports, etc. next report we'll run is metadata content again, and this time we'll select folder. Select folder, click run.
reports generated again, but it's organized by where the content exists within the metadata folder structure. So that's a report of all the content that users have developed and where it's stored in metadata. So that's two fairly commonly requested reports that can be created now without writing any code, listing users and their groups and roles, and understanding what type of user content is stored in metadata and where it's stored. As you can see, it's now much easier to report and document the content and configuration in your SAS metadata. For more information on SAS Environment Manager and Service Architecture, see the SAS Environment Manager page in the Enterprise Management Integration Focus Area on support.sas.com. Thank you for watching and check back later for more tips and tricks.